Hey guys, good morning. Happy Monday. Super happy you guys are with me. My name is Elizabeth. I'm your instructor here in a Pilates inspired fitness class. And for props today, we're going to use dumbbells. So let's grab those dumbbells and super simple. Let's come on to the tippy toes. Just entering another student here. Come on to the tippy toes and then let's lower one heel, bend an elbow and switch and switch. In other words, we're coming into our Pilates prancing. Hey cutie, good to see you. Coming into that Pilates prancing, just warming up the body with alternating bicep curl. If you don't have dumbbells, that's okay. You, you don't need them. Uh, you can uh, also, if you don't have dumbbells, you can use cans of food or you can use little bottles of water or anything else. So uh, just light, doesn't need to be super heavy. All right, guys, so just warming up the body and I'd like to take this opportunity to request of you as always to keep your workout with me today, safe and pain free. So that means comfortably uncomfortable is okay, but pain is not. So if you are feeling stabbing pain, shooting pain, joint pain, structural pain, anything like that, please stop what you're doing and do something different so those feelings go away. All right, yep. Just beginning to wake up that body, breathing, feeling that nice work in the calves and the arms, noticing if your heart rate's coming up a little bit for two and one and come to center. Let's swing those arms from side to side. Notice how this feels. We'll revisit this move in class a few times. All right, arms in goalpost, arms overhead, one knee in tabletop, lower and switch and switch and switch. Coming into a marching situation and continue just like that. You are breathing. I am grabbing dumbbells. I'm so excited to see all my Pilates peeps this morning. I didn't grab them before class. All right, guys. The next time you have a knee and tabletop, it doesn't matter which, pause, reach those arms into goal pose, and then sweep those forearms together and open, sweep and open, taking that balance challenge. You guys look so solid. I love it. Breathing for four and three, two and one. Arms in goal pose, put that foot down, other knee and tabletop. Sweep those forearms together and open, together and open and continue. Looking good. You are breathing. Yeah. Notice if those elbows are lowering and lifting in space. If they are, see if you can prevent that. If this arm movement is becoming bothersome, any other arm movement is okay for two. And Next time those arms are in goal pose, pause. Let's put both feet down. All right, arms overhead. Okay, arms overhead. Let's use the weight of the dumbbells to energetically drop those shoulders down. Nice job. All right, and we'll just hold here. Then feet together, come onto those tippy toes and continue. Yeah, so just straight, super straight. I'm trying to get my hands in the camera, but I can see that's not gonna happen. Um, just know that I have hands and they have dumbbells in them. All right, I know that's kind of silly. All right, just so just stand super tall, dropping those shoulders, big isometric contraction, breathing. And then begin to notice the muscles that you're feeling popping awake. I've built shoulders, I've built calves, a little bit of uh, movement, uh, involuntary shaking in my ankles strengthening uh, the muscles around there and also creating that mobility so I, my ankles can move around in case I feel like I'm going to fall over, which is important for three, two, and one. Let's bend those elbows into a bicep curl. All right, and you can lower the heels. All right, so I want those uh, elbows tucked into the waist and I want those uh, arms bent in uh, straight out in front. Uh -huh. And then guys, let's kick one foot back, reach the elbows back, palms are facing up, and then reach those arms forward, step those feet together, kick the other foot back, and switch, and switch, and continue. 
So those of you who have with, worked with me in the studio, this might remind you of an arm movement we do on the reformer with hands and straps called Opry. Kind of similar, similar yet different. All right, yep. Okay, we're going to add on to this in just a moment. But if you wish, you can continue with this version. If you want a little bit more, maybe begin to take a big step back, bending both knees, reaching those elbows back behind you, and then reach those arms forward, step together, and switch, and switch, and continue. Yeah, looking so good. As you bend those knees in that lunge, I want you to take a big step apart. The reason being is because you guys can continue. If you look down, point the knee behind the toes. Mm -hmm. So that's important to help to protect the integrity of the knees. Ooh, yeah, looking good, everyone. All y'all, whoa, little bit of a balance challenge for three and two. All right, guys, next time you're down, stay down. Then let's just reach those arms down to the sides and then we'll lower and lift, lower and lift and continue. Roll those shoulders back and down. Ooh, yeah, feeling this quite a bit. I'm filming live from Cortown Pilates in Rancho Mission Viejo, and the phone is ringing. That's why you're hearing a phone ringing, in case you were wondering. So our dumbbells, we're just holding on to them. Our arms aren't moving, but we have the added resistance for these little bounces uh, of the weight of the dumbbells. So that's kind of cool. Uh-huh, I know, I'm feeling it too. For three, and two, and one, let's step both feet together. Woo! Notice how you're feeling the back of one boot or the back of one thigh in the front of the other. We will balance that out right now. So take a big step back with your other foot. Let's lower down and lower and lift and lower and lift. Tiny range of motion to really kick this into that, uh, uh, well, to add to it, let's uh, hover those front toes in space just a little bit. Yeah, and notice how that makes it harder for that front leg. Woo! And breathing. You guys look awesome. Looking so good. Wow, it looks like a beautiful day in New Hampshire today. <sighs> breathing for four. Looking good. And three. And two. All right, listen for the change. Let's come all the way down. Nice job. Okay, so let's come all the way down to a kneeling position. Well, yeah, kneeling. And then let's take that front foot, put it back. Take the other leg, put it forward. Tuck those rear toes underneath you. Come to standing, both legs straight. Lower down. Tuck that front foot, other foot forward. Come to standing, continue alternating from side to side. If this isn't working for your knees, you can continue uh, just doing uh, alternating lunges. Woo! If this is working for you and you want to add to it, let's, when you're down, reach those arms into goalposts. And then as you come up, reach those arms overhead and continue. Yeah, so ideally that foot is just sweeping in front of you. That's pretty hard for me to do. So I'm kind of kicking my foot out to the side, trying not to though. And by the way, if, uh, if it's not available to do a move, you know, quote perfectly, we get points for trying. So just keep that in mind. Woo! And breathe. Really nice. For three, and there's a bit of a balance challenge going on. And two. All right, guys. And the next time you're up, stay up. Step those feet together. Swing those arms from side to side. Well done. All right, for two. And one, and come back to center. All right, guys, next. Man, I'm having a hard time with my leggings today. Next, 
Let's pull those elbows back behind, keeping the knees behind the toes, reach that booty back behind. Keep the bend in the front knee, step that foot back, straighten the arms and switch and switch and switch and continue. If this, uh, if this squat isn't working for you, no big deal, just stand tall. If this squat is working for you, make sure those knees are behind the toes Woo! and continue breathing. Ah. Keep those elbows high in space. It will make the triceps work harder. That is the part of the arm that you don't want to wave when you wave. Oh my gosh, I heard the funniest thing from one of my students the other day that I've never heard. And she said that, so she's a tennis player. And she's, a, she's probably in her 70s, although she looks like she's in her 50s. But at any rate, she said she was talking with her tennis pals who were all aging. And something that happens as they age is when they serve, they can actually hear the triceps area kind of flap through space. So I was like, you like hear it? And she's like, yes. I was like, I've never heard that. So one of her goals was to stop the flap. I was like, okay, I can help you with that. <laughs> I know, I feel it too. I know, I'm talking a lot. Uh-huh, it's on purpose. Super long set for three and two and one and come to center. Nice job. Notice how you feel all that warmth in the shoulders and the triceps and swing those arms from side to side for two and one. All right. Nice job, guys. Pilates B. Arms in front, softness in the elbows, like a ballerina. Uh-huh. Arms overhead, bend the knees, use the weight of the dumbbells to drop those shoulders down, come up to center and do it again and continue. It's kind of funny. I actually took ballet when I was a young girl for a few years actually. And, uh, and I quit because I felt like I was a quarter horse among uh, gazelles. <laughs> I was just like, strong and muscular and they were all long and lean. And I was a little chubby. I was like, I'm not a ballerina. And here I am like decades later doing ballerina moves. Kind of funny. For three and two. And the next time you're down, stay down. Let's lift one heel, lift the other heel. Good, all right guys. And then uh, with the palms facing together or up, open and close and do it again and continue. Yeah, the reason why I point that out is I, it's kind of funny. I, I never, never in my wildest dreams would have thought that I would have been a fitness instructor. Also, when I was in the fourth grade, we had to run this race and the last person in had to run it twice and that was me. I, I really didn't like activity when I was a younger girl. I always felt like it was for other people who were more fit. And then again, here I am. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, that's my son. And breathe, it'll stop in just a moment. For three and two and one, come to center, pivot those arms forward. Yeah, and then hug a tree and open and do it again. Yep, breathing. So I've been doing a lot of uh, like modeling things and applying for different things and sending off demo tapes. And one of the first things they say is that make sure your phone is off. So clearly I failed on that one right now, but oh well. For two. And the next time those arms are together, pause. Reach those arms down to your side. Good job. Swing those arms from side to side and breathe. Woo, for two and one and come back to center. All right, guys, arms in goal post. Arms overhead, one knee and tabletop and switch and switch and switch and continue. You guessed it, we're coming into a little cardio blast. If you wish, you can continue with this movement or you can disco dance, or you can do the cha-cha, which I can't even demonstrate, or you can do the limbo, isn't that a dance? Or you can do burpees, you can do jumping jacks, you can take off and run the stairs, which is what a lot of my students do. Yep. Excuse me, anything that feels good for you. The goal here is just to move your body, get that heart rate up a little bit. Woo, and breathe. 
Yeah, looking so good. <laughs> Loving seeing those ponytails shift from side to side. Uh-huh. Loving seeing your sweet little selves running through my screen. And uh, so as we do this movement or whatever movement you're doing, as we get that heart rate up, it lends to mood enhancement. So that's always good. Uh-huh. Loving it. Love seeing you guys running through my screen. So they're not quite sure why. Some people, uh, some experts think it's because you're doing a physical affirmation of something to take care of yourself. And other people, other experts believe that it's because of the, uh, the chemicals released in the brain, which are mood enhancing. And as with much in life, they are probably both correct. Woo, and breathing. And then also, this helps to stave off osteoporosis. Uh-huh. Yep, just enjoying that free movement and breathing. Yep, loving, loving the variations that I'm seeing. Maybe be a little silly if you wish. <laughs> yep, and we'll go just for about another minute or so. Woo! And again, if you do not want to do a bouncy thing, this is going to increase your heart rate. So don't feel like you need to do a bouncy thing if your knees or ankles or hips are talking to you, or I don't know, maybe just for whatever reason, it doesn't feel good to do a bouncy thing. Don't do it, no big deal. Woo, yeah. November 29th. Almost the end of the month, coming up to December. Woo! <laughs> Starting that holiday season, if you celebrate the holidays. All right, guys. Just a little bit more here for three and two and one. And find stillness. Good job. Swing those arms from side to side. Okay, we're going to switch gears and take this down to the ground. So let's set the dumbbells to the side and I want to come into an all fours quadruped position. All fours quadruped position. Oh, I think. All right. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. All right, guys, from here, separate those knees a little bit and then Let's lean to the right, lean to the left. Continue alternating, just feel that free movement. I tell you frequently to really be in control of your movement. And here you can control it in such a way that you're allowing for a little free movement. So just make this feel good. You can feel a stretch. Yeah, you can rock the hips from side to side. You can bring the torso with you. You can move to the opposite side, whatever feels nice for you and then find stillness and then begin to rock for forwards and backwards and continue. Yeah, again, just taking some free movement here. Woo, for two and one and come to center. All right, guys, then let's shift to the right, shift back towards the heels over to the left and forward and do it again and continue. So uh, if I've lost you, you can just think about moving your hips, rotating them around in a circle. That'll create the same sort of a movement. And enjoy that free movement. Enjoy the stretch, lubricating your joints. Woo. For two. And one. And let's reverse the direction of those circles. This move always feels really primal to me. Actually, it, it came from a, so I have a lot of different uh, disciplines of fitness that I've worked in, and, and one of them is uh, booty yoga. So this comes from booty yoga, which is a very, very feminine, tribal type of activity. It's kind of fun. Woo, and breathe for three and two. And one, and come to center. Okay, let's separate those knees. Reach that booty back towards the heels. Walk those hands forward. Bring your face and head down towards the mat and just enjoy this stretch. Oh, separate those fingers 
a lot. And then press all of your fingertips into the mat. Notice how that turns on the arm muscles quite a bit. All right, guys, keep those hands where they are. Shift your weight forward. And then keeping the elbows in close to the waist, let's bend those elbows. Our head shoots forward, straighten those arms, and bring the booty back to the heels. And then shift forward and bend, straighten, and bring the booty back. And continue just like this. It's okay if your bend is very tiny. And it's okay if your bend is almost an energetic bend without physically bending. You still get credit. Woo. But I do want you to notice where those elbows are as you bend, and I want them securely tucked into your torso. So that is different than jutting out in space. <sighs> yep, yeah. these are called child's pose push-ups. I also got these from, we're borrowing moves today from booty yoga. For three and two and one. And the next time that booty is back, pause. And we'll just hang out here for a moment. Just enjoy the stretch. And then, guys, take your right hand, put it under your chest, palm facing up. So right hand under the chest, palm facing up. And slide those fingertips over under the armpit, over to the left, bringing your right cheek down. <sighs> so often that's called threading the needle, feeling that terrific side body stretch. I can see you guys in the mirror. You look great. A little upside down, but great. All right. And then let's come back to center, reaching both arms forward. Then take that left hand, put it underneath your chest, palm facing up, thread the needle, slide it to the right, and enjoy the stretch on this side. I'm looking at the underside of this reformer and it's so amazing to me how Joseph Pilates created this equipment. It is pretty cool. All right, for three and two and one and come back to center and walk yourself up. Yep, good job. Did you know that uh, he started uh, making the, the original um, the idea for the reformers came from an internment camp in England back during the war uh, where he was uh, put with fascinating history. All right, guys, let's pivot around and sit on the tush. And we'll place those hands underneath us. So we're coming into a little bit reverse plank sequence. I know that this can be challenging for some people's wrists. So you can come onto gorilla wrists or you can come down to those elbows. I'm going to come down to my elbows today just to save my wrists. All right, from here, take an inhale as you exhale, lift those hips. So clearly if you're on the elbows, the hips will lift less. Okay, and then one knee in tabletop, put it down, other knee in tabletop, put it down and continue and breathe. Yep, looking so good. I see puppies, I see a tail wagon, I love it. For four, he's like, what you doing, mom? And three and two and one and lower that booty down. Nice job. Let's all come down to the elbows and shift the knees to one side up to center and over to the other side. Continue alternating from side to side. Yeah, so uh, Joseph Pilates uh, started making this reformer and uh, the super early crude version of it and um, would uh, use it to exercise the, the people who were in the barracks and they were not getting sick, whereas everybody else in the camp was getting quite sick. And so he, uh, they, they uh, asked him to do that for other people. And then eventually the Germans asked him to uh, do that and he left and fled to America. Yeah, really fascinating history. All right, for two and one and 
and come to center. Okay, guys, on those elbows, let's kick that left. We'll kick the right leg long. We'll kick a leg long. It doesn't really matter. We'll switch in a moment. And then navel is tucked to the spine. Take an inhale as you exhale. Hover that leg in space. And then flex that foot and point. Flex and point. By the way, it's hovering just a little bit, not a lot. Woo! And breathe. And the next time those toes are pointed, pause. Okay, from the head of the femur and the hip socket, begin to draw tiny little circles. Yeah, tiny, tiny, moving the head of the femur and the hip socket. Notice how you feel the different muscles in your leg active as you go through the different uh, positions in the circle. Woo! Yep, and then pause, reverse the direction of your circle. If you want more guys, not necessary, but if you want more, you can hover the opposite foot in, uh, in space. I am not going to do that, but you can if you wish. Woo, for three and two and one. Keep that leg lifted, find stillness, pivot those toes externally. In other words, uh, I want you to take your foot and then just pivot those toes uh, to the outside. And then lower and lift and lower and lift. Tiny range of motion here, guys. By the way, so in Pilates, frequently less is more. So if you were doing a huge range of motion, you would be using gravity and momentum. And with this tiny range of motion, you are relying on neither of those, which makes this exercise quite a bit harder. Uh-huh, feeling that inner thigh. The next time that leg is uh, uh, hovering, pause and then wag it to the right and to the left and to the right and to the left. Woo! Feeling this quite a bit. Tiny range of motion, moving slowly for four and three and two and one. And lower that leg down. Wow, felt that quite a bit. Let's bend that knee in and kick the other leg out long. And then let's hover it in space and point and flex and point and flex. Continue. What's going on with that midsection, guys? Is that uh, belly getting a little floppy? If so, recommit to tightening it up. Yeah, so you can actually feel your lower abdominal muscles working to keep this leg suspended in space and a little bit of oblique work. You can place your fingertips into your midsection and make sure those muscles are taut. The next time those toes are pointed, pause. Begin to make little tiny circles. By the way, you're trying to keep everything else in your body absolutely still. The only joint moving is the head of the femur in the hip socket. Woo! Yeah, I'm feeling this quite a bit. Uh-huh, and pause, reverse the direction of those circles. And breathe, woo, feeling this a lot. If you look down over those quadriceps, you can probably see them. You guys have been with me for a while, so I know you're super strong. Ah, yep. And then pause, and then let's wag that foot from side to side, feeling those outer thighs and those inner thighs. Let's externally rotate those toes for good measure. Oh, yep. If you wish, you can hover the opposite foot or not. And I know I'm feeling it too. And then let's come to center and lower and lift and lower and lift. Feeling those inner thighs, feeling those core muscles, shoulders away from the ears. Woo, for four and three, two and one. Up and both knees, both feet flat. Take a step apart with those um, feet and then let's drop the knees to one side, up and over to the other and continue. Yep, notice how if you keep both elbows down and gently press into the far elbow of the direction of the knees, you feel a really terrific stretch all down that side. Oh, just enjoy for three and two and one and come to center. All right, guys, let's lie down flat and grab your dumbbells. All right, for this next sequence, I want the head flat. So head stays down, arms and goalposts. Wow, I'm really feeling those shoulders from the work we did in that stretch. All right, arms and goalposts. Hover the elbows, 
just above the mat. So you could slide like a, a little teeny tiny teen novel in between them, but nothing big. So just a super slim little, or magazine, that's a better cue. You could slide a magazine under the elbows, but not much else. Okay, take an inhale, exhale, lift the hips, arms up to the ceiling. Inhale, lower down to where they're almost touching, but not quite. Reach those arms up and do it again and continue. Squeeze those booty cheeks a lot. I was thinking of the phrase, squeeze those booty cheeks like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> but if there were no tomorrow, I don't know that I'd be focusing on squeezing the booty cheeks. <laughs> yeah. All right. Breathing. Pressing through those heels, guys. Let's begin to hover those toes. I am not asking you to come onto your tippy toes. I'm asking you to do the opposite. So pressing the heels down, hovering the toes, squeezing that backside, really feeling that band of muscles active in the booty area. Woo! Creating that really cute little smile line. If you know what I mean for four, wow, feeling this quite a bit, and three, and two, and the next time up, you're up, stay up. Give it those palms so they're facing each other. All right, guys, then keep the elbows above the shoulders the whole time, but bring those dumbbells down towards your forehead or your temples and straighten and do it again. So the work here is as you press away from gravity, straightening those arms, but also feel the work as you bend the elbows slowly, resisting the pull of gravity. Trying to keep those elbows straight above the shoulders and still in space. And remember, you get points for trying, even if you're not 100% successful at that. And then as you straighten those arms, begin to lift the knee and tabletop, and then put it down as you bend the elbows and switch. And switch and continue. Good. And then as you're doing this, guys, try to keep your pelvis absolutely still. It's going to make this work really a lot harder by not shifting your body around as you go through this range of motion. So try to make it so the only joints moving are the elbows, the hip socket, and the knees. Whew. And as you come into that tabletop, is it a perfect tabletop? If not, can you make it more perfect? And then if you're focusing on that, are those elbows still above the shoulders? So it's kind of like whack-a-mole. And as I'm doing this, I, I'm feeling like my form is really lacking, but just know that I am trying to uh, do everything I'm queuing for you to do. And again, get points for trying and breathe for four and three, and two, and one, and both feet down, lower that booty down, and bring those arms down to the mat. Nice job, guys. Take a step apart and windshield wiper those knees from side to side. <sighs> For three, and two, and one. Come back to center. Um, okay, guys, let's set the dumbbells to the side. Place the fingertips behind the head and then drop both knees to the left. And give your body a chance to settle into the stretch with the fingertips laced behind the head. Also feel that terrific stretch in the shoulder area. So we'll hang out here just for a moment. <sighs> and breathe. Feel so good. I love just lying still after a little flurry of activity and tuning in and noticing how the body feels. It's such a sweet gift that we give to ourselves. All right, guys. And then inviting in movement, take an inhale. As you exhale, crunch straight up the center, up, just up towards that top right hip. Inhale, lower, exhale, crunch, and continue. So I want you to think about uh, your top hip and your top bottom rib. <laughs> yeah, I just realized, so top, bottom, they kind of cancel each other out. But you know what I mean. So uh, uh, closest to the ceiling, that rib that's on the bottom of all of your ribs and the uh, hip and decrease the space, space between those bony landmarks. <laughs> I'm a law school dropout and every once in a while I, I notice that um, like I feel the need to be super precise and accurate in my statements. 
Ah, oh well, doesn't matter. You guys know what I mean. Coming into those oblique crunches and breathe, hollowing out that belly, navel tucked to the spine. By the way, speaking of, of attorneys, I started watching Goliath <laughs> with Billy Bob Thornton. It's really good. It's a little raunchy. Uh, so lots of F words and, you know, kind of gritty. But if you like that kind of stuff, it's, it's, a, it's a fun romp. All right, guys, breathing for four and three and two. Lower that head, neck, and torso down and open those elbows wide. <sighs> ah, feels really good, right? Okay, let's do that on the other side. So pivot those knees off and over to the right. And then again, we'll hang out here for a moment, giving the body a chance to settle into the stretch. Yeah, my one regret with not finishing law school is I always thought it would be fun to uh, teach in the junior college. Maybe that'll happen someday. All right, guys, let's invite movement. Take it, inhale, exhale, crunch up the center, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, and continue. Following out that belly. Looking good. These are like my favorite crunches. I've been doing these for, for years and years. I got this exercise from this guy back in the 80s on this fitness video. That was when you had to buy fitness videos. And uh, he, he, was so, he was such a character. He was like so positive. He just, he just made me happy just watching him and listening to him. So I, I try to do the same thing in my, in my classes when I teach. All right, guys, for four and three, and two, and one, lower down. And again, just take that stretch. Notice how it feels. I feel like his name was Tony something. He had that mullet where his hair was short in the front and long in the back. What do they say? Business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> that was all the rage back in the day. All right, guys, let's pivot those knees back to center. We'll come into a quick bridge sequence again. So grab those dumbbells. Knees bent, feet flat, uh, head down. We'll uh, keep the arms straight to start with and palms facing into the hips, arms right next to your body. All right, take an inhale, exhale, lift the hips. Keep those hips lifted, reach those arms straight up to the ceiling, palms facing each other, lower those hips down towards, oh, sorry, low. Okay, let me start over. Keep the hips, let's come into a bridge. Keep the hips lifted. So we're going to keep the hips lifted the whole time, but it's the arms moving through space. So we'll lower them down and lift. If your dumbbells are heavy and this doesn't feel good for your shoulders, please don't do this and do something different that does feel okay for your shoulders. All right, just keeping those hips lifted. And the next time those arms are up to the ceiling, pause, keep the head down, come onto the tippy toes and maybe walk those heels a little closer to the tush if that feels good for you. Super high on those tippy toes and then open those knees, open those arms to the side, hug a tree, squeeze those knees together and do it again. So if you're familiar with old gym exercises, this would be like a chest fly type movement for the arms. And then super high on those tippy toes, opening and closing those knees and breathe. Woo, yep. By the way, for these flies, my range of motion is kind of tiny because I am hitting a mirror. It's okay if your range of motion is larger, if that feels good. All right, as you're doing this, guys, I want you to squeeze those booty cheeks a lot. It's a little bit awkward to squeeze those booty cheeks as you separate those knees, but it is possible. And notice how much more challenging that is. So really targeting a specific area of the booty cheeks by going through this range of white. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm popular this morning. Okay, breathing. For four, I'm so sorry guys, and three, and two, and the next time those arms are up towards the ceiling, pause, and then guys, just squeeze those booty cheeks, squeeze, 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 and squeeze, and squeeze, and hold, and breathe, and squeeze, arms up to the ceiling on the tippy toes, 
just squeezing, lifting those hips high, squeezing those thighs together, squeezing those knees together, huge isometric contraction. Woo, feeling this a lot. For three, I am shaking, and two, you probably are as well. And one, and lower that booty down. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, set the dumbbells down to the side. And then you can uh, lift your head, neck, and torso. Cross one ankle over the other, doesn't matter which. And then uh, the foot that is on the ground, we're going to grab the back of that thigh, placing all 10 fingertips behind the thigh. One hand is between your legs, the other hand on the outside of the legs. Take that leg up to the ceiling, twirl the ankle. So this is a feel good stretch. The more you pull that leg towards you, the more you'll feel the outer booty area of the leg that is bent. So just enjoy this. And then pause, reverse the direction of those circles. Yeah, so I just taught a Pilates class uh, in the studio before this class. And uh, I used my phone to control the volume. So that's, that's why I accidentally left my volume up. All right, guys, for two and one. And then let's lower that foot down, uncross, cross the other ankle over. Yeah, and you guessed it. We will thread the needle, grab onto the back of that thigh, pull it towards you, feeling that terrific stretch. And then if you wish, take that leg up to the ceiling and twirl. <laughs> I just realized why I'm so popular, you guys. It's my birthday today. So I, I think my friends and family are calling to, <laughs> in my mom's case, who was the last person to call. Let's pause, reverse the direction of those circles. She's so sweet. She always sings me happy birthday. That's adorable. I love my mom. All right, guys, for three and two and one and pause. All right, let's come back to center and come up to a seated position. All right, really nice, guys. Next, let's come to a seated position on the right booty cheek. And we'll take that right leg, bend it straight out in front of us and take that left leg and uh, so what I'm interested in here, guys, is a right angle. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, coming into a right angle here. Okay, and then from here, place those hands in front of you. Walk them forward. Yeah, bringing your torso down towards the mat. This stretch does not feel good to me, so uh, I'm going to um, just do it a tiny amount. But for you, if it feels good, you can have a much greater range of motion. Really, really stretching out that backside, that area that we just worked quite a bit in that bridging sequence. So just enjoy that. You are welcome. Looking good. For three and two and one and come walk yourself back up and then take your right hand down to the right. Take that left arm up to the ceiling, come up and over. You can bend into that right elbow for support. If it feels good, you can even come down to that elbow. Oh, just, uh, we've talked about the bony landmarks of that, uh, uh, the, the rib nearest the hip bone and that hip bone and creating space between them. Did you see what I did there? I did a different way to describe that work that worked out quite well. Oh, and breathe for two and one. Oh, that feels so good. Let's come to center and then place the other hand down. You place it on your thigh or on the ground, whatever makes sense for you, reaching the other arm up and over. Yeah, you can just feel that terrific stretch. I was like, wait, who else is on my screen? And it's, it's Beth and Mira. <laughs> All right, for two and one and come to center. All right, guys, next, uh, let's take that right elbow and bring it down to the ground and then take that left leg and kick it out. All right, yeah, so this is a transition. Let's take that left leg, swing it forward and back and forward and back. I said the word swing, but really I want you to be super in control of a distinct starting and stopping point in this range of motion. Also, I want that foot just hovering above the ground, I don't know, maybe three, four, five, five inches or so. And breathe. For three and two. 
And the next time that leg is out long, pause. Reach that top arm up to the ceiling. And then bring the knee to the elbow. Reach it long. Knee to the elbow. Reach it long. Begin to uh, see if you can feel your oblique muscles and that core area working as you're going through this range of motion. So you can really crunch your torso towards your knee if that feels good. It doesn't for me, so I'm omitting that. But if you wish and that, that feels uh, good, do it. Ooh, for three and two. And the next time everything is out long, pause. Take those left toes, pivot them down, and then tap the ground, and then come up and over and tap. So we're making little rainbow arcs. Create space and length between that top shoulder and that top ear. Wow, really feeling that booty area. Woo. For four and three and two and one. Oh my goodness, and come to center. Okay, let's kick those legs out in front of us. Reach those fingertips forward. Come into a forward fold stretch. This stretch does not feel good to me, so I'm going to omit it. But what I'm asking is for you to bring your chest down towards your uh, thighs, even if it's energetic. <laughs> uh-huh. For two and one, roll back up to center. And then, guys, let's take that left knee. We're going to bend it in front of us, bringing that right knee back behind. All right. Take that, so we're back in that right angle situation. Take that left hand over to the left, right arm up and over. And again, if you wish, you can come down to that elbow. <sighs> and just enjoy this stretch. It really does feel so good. <sighs> For two and one, come to center. Walk those fingertips out, bringing your torso down towards the ground. Ish, in my case. So yeah, just really stretching out that booty area. Looking good. Man, you guys, time flies when you're having fun. Once again, this class is almost over. All right, walk yourself back up and then take your right hand down towards the right somewhere on your thigh, on your calf, on the ground. Take that left arm up and over. And enjoy for two and one. And then take your left elbow down to the side. We'll take that right leg, kick it long. And then let's kick that leg backwards and forwards, back and forward. This time let's take that right arm up to the ceiling because why not? And breathe. Try to create as much space and length as you can between those top fingertips and that bottom elbow. Woo, feeling this quite a bit. And again, your range of motion can be quite large if that feels good, but just be super in control of the stopping and starting point. My range of motion is kind of tiny. Oh, for two and one, pause, pivot those toes down and then tap over in front, up and over to the back and do it again. Woo, and breathe. Can you feel those oblique muscles? Like if you place your hands on your waist, you probably literally can feel them working under your fingertips. Wow, yeah, really targeting a different area in that booty with the head of the femur pivoted to this angle in the hip socket. All right, for two and one, kick that leg out long, reach that top, top arm in the opposite direction, and then come together and long, together and long, <laughs> and continue, you are breathing. Again, you can really scrunch curling up into a little ball if that feels good, or not if it doesn't. Two, for four, and three, and two and one let's lower that down nice job okay guys then we'll just place both hands onto the uh mat and pivot over into a plank position yeah super strong think about a straight line from the back of the heels to the tush to the waist to the shoulders to the head <sighs> and breathe and then lift that booty high up towards the ceiling, melt those heels down, look down towards your thighs. 
space between the ears and shoulders. And then, bend, let's look forward, bend the knees, and then tuck those feet forward, and grab onto opposite elbows, gently rocking side to side. By the way, you're welcome to step forward if you wish. And then, guys, softness in the knees, release those arms long, roll up vertebrae, five vertebrae. Coming all the way up. When you get to the top, well done, everyone. Bring those shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down. One more time, up, back and down. And walk into your day and your week. And in my case, my next journey around the sun with your awesome posture. Thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you have a fabulous day.